Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys your water sign divine masculine twin flame reading. So we are going to be looking into your divine masculine who may be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, you can also choose to watch this video if you're a water sign yourself, but just at the end of the day, take what resonates for you and get rid of anything that doesn't. So today's reading, I'm actually going to be going into into a few topics and then we're going to take it into the extended reading so there will be a link down below where you guys can go to see if that's something that you want to look further into over on the extended reading we're going to go into much deeper things we're going to take a look at their late night thoughts and desires for you at this time we're also going to go into their confessions and what they might be holding back we're going to see what moves they might make towards you as well as some advice from spirit on the connection so I will go ahead and uh, remind you guys again at the end of the reading that that's something that's available for you guys. All the decks I'll be using here today will be listed down below. And we have these beautiful organites here created by Michelle from R Wing and Bell. So let's go ahead and get into it, you guys. Let's see what we need to know today about your water sign, divine masculine, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so let's take a look. I did come up with an outline here. I uh, sat here last night and really went into like this super just deep kind of thing, deep dive. All right, what is your masculine's current energies towards you, right? So we're going to break it down, of course. So... We're going to use this tarot deck, the connections of the modern world tarot that I created with my daughter, who is Kayla Recreations. And um, we're going to combine it with a, a few decks from Fire Witch Tarot. I love to do these with her decks because she has so many decks and I, I own so many of them that I like to put them in together like a combination. So that's what I've done here. So I'm going to alternate between those two piles. So what we're going to do is we're going to see where is this masculine currently at right now? when it comes to you, Divine Feminine, watching the video. That's how I'm going to address the audience because most of my viewers are Divine Feminines. Okay, so where is this masculine currently at right now when it comes to his thoughts, the way he's seeing you, Divine Feminine, or the way that he is thinking about this situation? Okay, we have fighting for what you love. It says claiming what's yours. Love is a battlefield. Ooh, there could be some sort of competition. Um, maybe he has to fight in order to win you over. That love is a battlefield thing could be like there's a battle for your love or your attention. Um, maybe he wants to come in and claim that you are his, etc. So to me, it's like I get a, I'm getting a five of wands vibe here where there could be rivals. Or it could just be that right now he's really fighting his own his own uh, heart right now when it comes to you in this connection. So let's get a tarot card. We have the Page of Swords. Interesting. Really in his head. Uh, the Page of Swords can be um, someone that wants to message you, right? So this masculine may want to message you, feminine. And it's like really thinking about what I'm get getting actually is fighting the urge to contact you and to message you okay and maybe he feels like he can't because there's something in the way it could just be his own heart though like i'm fighting my love for you i'm fighting my heart i'm kind of trying to analyze it i'm trying to rationalize what i'm thinking or feeling so he wants to say something here wants to message you but he's fighting it or there is something in the way but he will have to claim you and he will have to fight for something is what we're seeing here so we're going to go into another combination of decks here and see what is the emotions what are his emotions towards you right now feminine what's in his heart space towards you at this time we have make believe oh wow Okay, so I'm getting a couple of things from this. This make-believe energy could be that he do he doesn't believe something. He doesn't believe maybe this is how he's feeling. I can't believe I have feelings for you, or I can't believe that I have feelings for you still, or I'm not sure if you even love me back. Maybe it's just all in my head or just this feeling that I have. That's interesting. So I feel like there's some confusion here for this water sign masculine here towards the feminine. Let's get the tarot here. Ooh, judgment. Interesting. This is Pluto's energy. Scorpio. 
So there could have been a death here, as in an ending between you and your masculine, okay? So this is something that might have to be resurrected. This is also about like a reckoning for past actions. So maybe somebody needing to come back and apologize for something, right? In order to renew this, in order to resurrect this and bring it back from the dead. So I just feel that this masculine is just kind of confused right now, knowing that he has to do something, but he's not sure if he can. He's not sure if he can, like, like he believes in himself in order to make this happen. So to me, this is like on the verge of the world. So the next card would be the world. And so that just means the completion of a cycle. It means that there's um, some sort of conclusion that's on the horizon here. So if he's been battling his feelings or he's been kind of battling something, I do feel like he's on that verge of a breakthrough of closing up an old chapter and opening up this new door with this feminine is what I'm seeing here. So let's take a look and see what are the energies here of the 3D world. So so this is just going to be like where he sees things in reality between the two of you guys right now, especially if you guys are in separation or maybe not. Oh, we have erotic spiritual pleasures. Ooh. So if you guys are not actually with this masculine and you're in separation, I'm telling you right now, there is something going on on a physical level, but it's spiritual, meaning you guys are plugged into each other's frequencies or energies here. So this is not something where you're in front of each other. You're imagining with your eyes closed each other and there's some sort of um, erotic pleasure that's taking place. So I don't know if some of you guys needed a confirmation that your masculine is feeling your energy or experiencing your energy in this um, sensual way, but definitely coming through. All right, let's get that tarot card here. Ooh, we have the Knight of Pentacles. To me, it's like wanting to take it slow all night long. So I am getting that little bit of a fantasy for this masculine. You can see here, he's like looking at this feminine. This masculine might imagine you feminine, like your face in that position. So that's like what he's thinking about when he is, you know, in this erotic spiritual pleasure with you. Wow. But the Knight of Pentacles is Virgo's energy. And Virgo is all about deliberate moves, planning something kind of slow. So this to me tells me that this masculine is in between what his heart feels and what his head is like telling him. So a heart and head battle here and feels that maybe the best thing is to just kind of take it slow and maybe not rush into action just yet, especially if there's competition. Maybe he's kind of watching the feminine I'm getting here with this little scenario here. He's watching her to see, you know, maybe wait for a sign, seeing how she is, seeing where she's at in the world, seeing if it's the right time to come towards her. Very interesting. All right, let's go ahead and get one more. Let's get the overall soul energy. What is this masculine soul energy? How does he connect with her on a soul level? What is this energy? Ooh, I'm telling you, you guys, this is it. So we have that scream character, right? So it could be scream like a movie, like a horror movie, but reaching out to call, uh, to talk, the call. Yeah, this, it, it, you, you see what I'm saying? Like he's holding the phone, but then there's this like dagger. It's like, oh, it's very scary. <laughs> it's very scary. So on a soul level, I do feel like this masculine is battling, reaching out to the feminine. We did see the page of swords here earlier, which means that he's thinking about messaging you or sending a message or calling some of you guys. He could be watching you on social media. I'm getting that too. But on a soul level, he's getting, he's like being called. And that's really what the judgment card is. The judgment is about a call to action. Something is happening here. We're having a revelation, right? Something's coming back to us from the past where we can't, we can't squash that feeling. It's like it keeps getting stronger and stronger. Ooh, now we have the King of Cups, Scorpio's energy. So again, that Scorpio that has come up now twice, death and transformation. I do feel that the masculine's vibe right now is that he wants to transform or bring back this connection from the dead. <laughs> That's what we're getting here. Okay. And the King of Cups, it's like, he's ready. He's ready to call. He's ready to talk about his feelings. Like if he calls, it's not going to just be, um, you know, like it's not going to just be something casual. It's not going to just be, Hey, what's up? 
it's going to be more meaningful than that. And it might be that he knows that his feminine deserves that or needs that because maybe he didn't give her that before. So he's going to have to prove himself, right? He's going to have to definitely bring his heart to the table or else there's really no point is what I'm seeing here because you guys could have been back and forth with this masculine many times. So yeah, here we go. So that's what's going on here. This is how he's holding your energy right now, feminine. So I hope that that resonates for you. So let's now take a look and see what are their biggest regrets when it comes to you, okay? And this might really depict what went down, right? So we have a few decks for this one that I wanted to use. Okay. So we have my Mystics Midnight Oracle. We have this deck, and this is not to suggest that the masculine is a narcissist. It's just a really cool deck that has some kind of shadowy messages. So it's the narcissistic oracle cards. We also have my Dark Knight of the Soul Tarot and this combination deck of uh, a couple of decks from Fire, or I mean, yeah, Fire Witch Tarot again. So I almost said Fire Witch Moon. No, <laughs> Fire Witch Tarot. All right, let's see what we need to know. Um, what does the masculine regret the most when it comes to this connection? What does he regret the most? Biggest regrets that he has with this feminine. Let's see. Let's get the story. Ooh, we have zombie. Mechanical, program, and empty. Ooh, what is this about? Let's take a look. We have like a caged animal, caged beast, strengths card. This is Leo's energy, okay? So to me, it's like having a lot of passion and having a lot of desire. But the thing is, this masculine was programmed. And it could be because of some wound that he was sort of mechanical and empty when he was dealing with this feminine, right? It could have been that there was a lot of passion in the beginning, and then all of a sudden he held himself back. Why? Because he has been programmed that you can't lose control or that someone is going to dominate you or overpower you, or just that there's something wrong with intimacy. There's something wrong with this strong um, connection to another person. All right, let's see what else is going on here. third party situation, you guys. Oh, now this doesn't mean that uh, this masculine had to step out on the feminine, but there could have been like a third party as in maybe it was a family member. Maybe it was what somebody thought that literally held this masculine back from you. Now that's not an excuse, but sometimes our family or our friends or what we've been programmed to believe is best for us can get in the way, especially when we are trying to connect with people. All it takes is for somebody that you care about or respect to say, oh yeah, I don't think that that person's right for you. Makes you think, okay? So that could be that third party situation, but there could of course have been uh, like a third party situation. For some of you guys, this masculine may have lost you feminine. And so now there is a third party situation because you moved on. It could even be his regret that now he's with someone else and he's not with you. And maybe he's just kind of going through and just very mechanical. So he regrets because there obviously was at one time this very strong, passionate connection between the two of you. And then all of a sudden some program started running and then he just kind of pulled himself and held himself back and maybe even introduced a lot of drama and shit. So let's go ahead and get some words here or an influence. Ooh, see, I regret leaving you. So this masculine actually does regret leaving you. Now, some of them could have left you for another person. Maybe they thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side. And what I'm seeing here is that it didn't turn out to be all that. So they're like really regretful that they left you for either this person or that they left you and then you moved on. So just take it as it resonates, but that is a regret that they're feeling at this time. So let's go ahead and see what else is going on as far as their regrets go. Biggest thing that your masculine regrets about you, feminine, about this connection, their biggest regrets. We have the scarecrow, protection, assurance, and guard. Interesting. So let's see what else. Okay, the Ten of Decay, which is the Ten of Pentacles, Pipe Dreams. 
I feel like for some of you guys, there could be another relationship only take it if it resonates so maybe feminine you moved on or this masculine moved on so there's like other relationships or other timelines that are kind of you know playing out here okay so this tells me here that because of some behavior here you know there there was a demise to this entire situation so someone just moved on but if it was you feminine and you may just have felt like I need to protect myself, I need to guard myself, this dealing with this masculine is too scary, it's too much. And so I, I have to move on, right? So you may have gone through something, but it could also be, I'm seeing here that this masculine regrets guarding himself and protecting himself against a dream of being together and actually going the distance in a relationship. So this masculine could be a, a huge commitment phobe, or maybe they have some sort of programming when it comes to tr traditional relationships where they feel like it's not for them or they don't deserve it, or they're going to mess it up, right? It's just like a pipe dream because if we did get in the heart space of this masculine, make believe, and now we have pipe dreams kind of interesting to me it's almost like this masculine doesn't believe that he's worth it or doesn't believe that he will be able to make this feminine happy so he's really conflicted okay oh what did i just say so that's going to be a specific thing for someone talking marriage scares them yeah so they, they may have felt like you wanted something serious with them, like you wanted the house, the kids, the white picket fence, and they may have been like, oh my God, I don't think I can give that to you. Oh my God, I don't think that this is something that I can do. This scares the shit out of me. So I'm out of here kind of situation. So I'm just seeing though now they regret this because maybe you moved on and married someone else, or it could just be that they just are regretful because they're still like they're still struggling with this. So it wasn't you. It's like you might've scaled, scared them as in you triggered them, but, and they might've even said to themselves at the time, maybe the problem was you, but I feel like now they're going through enough in their life, maybe with other people and the situations they've been in to where they know that like the problem is them. So maybe they regret blaming you or treating you a certain way because you didn't deserve it. Okay, so I'm a gold digger and I choose money, not love. So what I'm seeing here is that this person in the past may have chosen material things, but the material is connected to the devil and the devil is our desires, um, our like kind of like our um, carnal desires, if you know what I'm talking about. So this masculine in the past may have just wanted surface physical relationships and maybe he sensed that you wanted more feminine and so he chose money over this love with you and he regrets it now because I feel that once he got enough of it it wasn't all it was cracked up to be it's kind of like the grass wasn't greener on the other side and now it's like he's still in this position where he doesn't have someone to share his life with and so he's thinking a lot about you and he's thinking about a lot of the things that you offered to him or what could have been with the two of you so that's his biggest regret right now you guys wow okay all right, so now we're going to go ahead and move on and we're going to see what would he do or what would your masculine do if he could right now, okay? What would your masculine do right now if he could? If he could make any kind of gesture towards you, change the situation around, you know, what would he do? Let's see. So we're going to go into a combination of cards. We're going to go into the Christmas Love Oracle by Fire Witch and then these two are for myself, Oracle of Love Oracle and Tarot. I'm sorry, Arrows of Love, Oracle, and Tarot. I said that wrong. Okay, let's take a look at this energy here. What is this energy? What is the energy? If your masculine could give you anything right now, what would he give? What would he say? What would he do? Ooh, we have I Want to Spoil You. So it might be that he would want to bring you some sort of a gift and he'd want to give to you in a way that, uh, you know, feels, you know, like a gesture, like I, you're really important to me. I want to give you everything kind of gesture. And we have yes or no, you know, we've definitely have seen so far in this reading that this masculine is between his head and his heart space. So it says yes or no, do I, don't I, do I, don't I, this particular masculine this week, you guys, is teeter tottering on messaging the feminine or sending her a gift or sending her something. 
and he's really being pushed, I feel, from spirit to do something because this energy has been building for a while I'm seeing within him. It's the judgment. It's been coming up over and over again for a reason. It's like the universe won't let him forget. The universe won't let him kind of move forward until he deals with whatever this is, whether it's unfinished business, some sort of karma, apology, something. So that's why you're in his thoughts and energy feel a lot this week. And the energy just keeps getting more intense and stronger day by day. Mm-hmm. Look at that. This masculine with the six of hearts, six of cups has not let go of you, feminine. So if you've been wondering whether or not this masculine has forgotten about you, I'm getting here. The answer is he has not forgotten about you. He definitely thinks about you. He is nostalgic on this connection. He has not gotten over you. So that I feel is a clarifier for some feminines out there that really wanted to know whether it's a yes or no. This is definitely a no. He has not forgotten about you. And yes, he still very much thinks about you and is nostalgic on this connection. So I do feel like he would want to resurrect this. He would want to come back. He would want to return and reconcile with his feminine. Absolutely. So his heart so in his heart, his heart says yes, but his head right now says, I don't think I can do it right now, or I'm not sure if this is the right timing, or I'm not sure if this is something that's going to, you know, pan out the way I hope or think it will. So there's that hesitation. So we've got on the bottom of the deck, the hanged man energy here. So it's like needing maybe um, a different perspective or kind of waiting for better timing. Okay. Let's see what else. Let's see what else he would do if he could. What would he offer if he could? Wow, we have enchanted kiss. So there could be something about the kiss that you guys shared, okay, in the past that was very enchanting to this masculine. It's magical. It's something he's never felt before. So it's definitely something that he dreams about and is nostalgic about. And we did get those erotic, sensual, um, you know, energies here between the two of you. So there could be some thoughts that both of you guys are having about sharing a kiss because it was definitely magical. Yeah. I feel like this was actually transformative. I feel like there was an awakening. I really do. And just because we have an awakening doesn't mean that all the chips are going to fall into place and that everything is going to be okay. A lot of it is triggering. A lot of things happen and it's just like, it, it gives us food for thought. It gives us something to really think about. Right. And I feel like that's how this could have worked for this masculine. When he kissed the feminine, something happened, something shifted. Same thing for you, feminine. You could have like literally had this spiritual awakening. You, you could have just had like this just total life-changing feeling when you kissed this masculine. And that just goes to show you that it is a divine connection. There is something significant about this connection. So he feels it too. And he still feels it actually. He still feels it. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm saying, I, I just keep saying this. He wants to message you. He wants to come forward with the message. All right. The eight of flames, eight of wands is like, I want to move forward, but I'm just going to tell you guys right now, the eight of wands is also very, very erotic, very sensual. It's one of those cards where if you want to know if somebody wants to like, you know, um, be intimate with you, that's a yes. It's a hard yes. Okay. Yeah. So there's something about, um, heart energy, head energy getting in the way, but there's this passion, there's this fire, there's this passion that keeps moving this connection forward. So you probably feel it too feminine. You, if you're feeling suddenly like all of a sudden very passionate, um, you know, sensual or whatever, like this energy keeps this connection alive. It keeps it moving forward. It keeps you guys continuing to better yourselves and transform almost like the prize is the connection. So you kind of keep moving towards that because one day you feel like this is something that's possible. So it's like a muse. It is like a inspiration in your life to keep wanting to move forward. So I just feel 
like your energy for both of you, it, it gets you guys up at, uh, it gets you guys up at the end of the day. It, it, it pushes you to transform, to be a better version of yourself. It really helps to transform the both of you. So this love that you guys have for one another literally keeps propelling you forward on your journey. That's what I'm seeing here. And it's amazing. All right, let's get one last message. We have festivities, okay? So it does say ice skating, fun in the snow, and decorating. Now, obviously, this is a Christmas deck. So the way that I'm looking at this is that there's something to do with wanting to come together with you and do something festive and fun. It could even be like around certain holidays. This masculine really, really wishes that you guys were together. That could be a hard or difficult time for him. But uh, definitely wants to do some fun things with you for sure. Have fun with this feminine. So this is something that he would offer or he would come forward with some ideas to do some fun things together. Ooh, yeah, sweep you off your feet, Casanova. <laughs> so yeah, uh, he feels like he definitely wants to romance you. The, to me, this is like a Knight of Cups energy. Really wants to come in and just sweep you off your feet, romance you, do some fun things with you that will really get your senses going, right? So this masculine might know, feminine, that you like certain things, and so he's maybe even formulating what you guys would do um, if he did move forward with this, if he did message you kind of like, hey, would you like to come and do this with me? That's literally what's going on in his mind. He's thinking about these things. We have the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is what is stopping this masculine here, okay? Eight of Arrows, Eight of Swords. This just means that we're in our heads. We kind of keep going back and forth. It's like a loop that goes back and forth around and around over and over again. So I do feel like he has been in this stuck energy for quite some time. Um, so the energy is here that he wants to do these things, whether or not he will do those things or break free from a lot of these restrictions is yet to be known. Um, but yeah, that Eight of Swords swords could be also a sticky situation. There could be, a, like I said earlier on, there's other situations or people involved. There's some sort of challenges that are standing in the way. It might be difficult to get to the feminine for some reason. But at the end of the day, really, the eight of swords just means that we're kind of trapped in our own heads. And we do have the power to break that cycle. Um, but maybe more needs to be revealed at this present time. And at the bottom of the deck, I've got moon, which is Pisces and Cancer's energy. So it's like, it's a mystery right now, but this masculine needs to go deep within himself for some further answers or understanding. But the universe is going to continue to work with the two of you by showing you signs, also images with dreams that you guys are having. You guys are going to be connecting on a psychic telepathic level. So feminine, if you want to aid your masculine with the strength to face you and this courage to come towards you, I definitely suggest, um, you know, staying in a high vibrational energy with this masculine. Don't spend a lot of time thinking about all these things that he could have done better or that he should have done, or, you know, even like gossip or talk crap about him in the comments or, you know, to your friends and family, because all that does is it just lowers the vibration and it creates more of a resistance for this masculine to, you know, conjure up that strength and courage to face the feminine. So anyways, you guys, what we're going to do is we are going to take this to the extended reading and the things that we're going to go into are what are their late night thoughts and desires towards you right now? What are the confessions that they're holding deep down within themselves? What are they most likely to do moving forward and advice from spirit on this connection? So I will put those links down below where you guys can have access to that, uh, um, extended reading. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment about what your thoughts are on this reading. And also, if you guys would like to throw me either a tip or a donation, I have a few ways that you guys can do that and the links down below. Also, if you would like your own personal reading with me, um, you would just email me and I'll put my email down below and then we'll just kind of, you know, work out what you guys are interested in and we'll um, get you booked. So anyways, thanks again, you guys, for choosing to watch this reading. I hope it resonated and I um, hope to see you guys over on the extended. All right, take care. Bye-bye.